Billy here. Morning. It's morning here. <laughs> I just uh, trying to get short videos in everywhere, so I put them wherever I can. I'm getting ready to go to work. <clears throat> it's not the optics; it's the content. Making coffee, all that now, all that jazz. I'm all getting all ready. Anyway. If you watch the news, which you shouldn't, or if you see what's going on on the internets and you know what they're up to, what they've decreed and what uh, kind of things that they pass your governments and all these organizations, what the news organizations claim that they've done and they're doing, a lot of these claims are hard to believe. They banned internal combustion engine cars everywhere like in so many states more and more they're banning cars we want all the gas powered cars off the road sales of new cars but they're actually moving towards getting rid of all of them and making you have an electric vehicle why would they do that that's bloody stupid isn't it a lot of things they do are bloody stupid are they stupid well some of them are but they're doing what they're told to by other people who are not stupid how does this make sense? Why would they want that? Why are they doing that? Oh, they're trying to save the planet! I, I don't think so, uh, Skippy. <clears throat> Imagine this. Do a, little, do a little mental exercise. Do a little thinking, okay? Project an image for yourself. What would things be like if we had decentralized uh, manufacturing of, of uh, vehicles like we had before the first war or the Second World War? There were hundreds and hundreds of car manufacturers in the U.S. back then, hundreds, and some of them were pretty darn good. Uh, none were cheap as the Model T, but there are a lot of different manufacturers. There's, I think, last time I checked, there's like 400 manufacturers in China. They have decentralized manufacturing to a very large extent. Automobiles, they make 400 car makers in, in China. Some of them are awful, but they have 400 car makers in China. You could have a car built entirely in America, entirely out of American materials, and fairly local, not just American, but fairly local. It's easy to do. It, it could be done with the correct infrastructure and, and people that could do it without being stopped by some agency or taxed to death. Uh, a little coordination on the internet. So the technology we have now, you could have real serious decentralized manufacturing. But somebody stops that from happening. Uh, even, even, even the tools that we have now, you can do amazing things in a very small area on a very small budget. The tools that we have these days are fantastic. And you can make those. You can make all kinds of things. You can make heirloom quality stuff. Stuff your great-grandchildren will inherit. It'll still work because it's not made out of plastic. It's formulated to disintegrate in two years. Anyway picture these vehicles small local refineries of course places don't have oil you have to import some but it's not really difficult we've done it before it's how it used to work up until fairly recently well a few generations ago and you put the petroleum in the vehicle and go where you want to go you put the petroleum in the truck and you haul your vegetables you put the petroleum in the truck and you haul your your widgets easy peasy right well no, they don't like that system because you're destroying the planet their system works thusly okay first you have to control areas that have rare earth minerals and lithium and take those things away from people so you get them for free and you have to be a big corporation to do this and you get the government to stage some sort of provocation you help them do it and then you go after them and you beat them up and you kill their leaders and you take over the area and you secure it and then you bring in the companies to strip mine the stuff and get it out of country because you don't want to build your refineries and your uh, processing plants in a place that's unstable and you got to keep it unstable to keep them free materials coming and that cost a lot that take they burn a lot of jpa to do that uh sally <clears throat> And once they get the materials extracted and get them out, they take them to the processing plant. And then they burn lots and lots of fuel to process them and make them into the batteries that they put in your car. And those batteries only last a couple of years. <clears throat> and you have to get new ones. And then you have to be <laughs> disposed of as hazardous waste. 
And then they have uh, the cars manufactured by favored corporations run by CIA stooges that get infusions of tax money to prop up their business. And they make these cars and then they get them to you and they might even subsidize them, you know, like socialized transportation, you know, cars for you. Uh, they get a lot of money for it that way. I mean, they make sure and get their, their, their profit if you don't have a direct market. And then you get rid of all the competition and you have all these cars in there that don't work worth a crap and are unreliable and sometimes spontaneously burn like a welding arc. Instant, not like gas that kind of starts slow and then you got a little flame and you get out of it. No, these things go woof 5,000 degrees instantly all through all the things. Your batteries are going off. But anyway, that's beside the point. That doesn't matter. <laughs> you little people need to be reduced in your numbers anyway. And uh, okay, now we got to feed this thing. We got the Tesla or are there others? Okay, you have electric cars and you have to put electricity into it okay electricity is dirty and we have to they've been reforming that for a while they've been on that a long time with huge infusions of your tax money and now they've got these wind farms everywhere and it's going to save the planet they make these uh out of these things out of fiberglass and aluminum well that takes some fuel to process lots of it and then they build them and they don't last that long either they have to be replaced pretty regularly and maintained and they have oil in them and they have to have like 20 freaking giant trucks to haul all the stuff out to the site and a crane and an excavator tons of concrete and they put each one up and they put thousands and thousands and thousands of them up which they have to keep replacing and maintaining and these things are green they're saving the planet and uh <clears throat> Even when they do maintenance on them, they have to have several huge trucks and a giant crane out there to do it. But anyway, that's making your green electricity for your green car and saving the planet. I think they've burned a lot more diesel than you would have with the system I described at the beginning of this video. Haven't they? I mean, don't want you just put the fuel in the car and go where you want to go. No, they're putting it in all these systems and all these fragile systems, these systems that exploit and kill and murder people and destroy everything so you can have cars that they control too i mean they're hooked up to the internet of things and you said something they don't like and you didn't look like you really believed what they told you to believe so your car doesn't work for you anymore because you violated our policies yeah it's a multifaceted thing there's a lot of reasons why they're doing this a lot of reasons and they're all bad you can be described like this, and a lot of things work like this, too. The original system, they've poked holes in it. That's why it's corrupt. It could be real simple, but they've made government legislation, and they made huge well regulations, so you have to ship things further, and you have to ship things from one place that has it to another place that has it anyway, but you take theirs and ship it someplace else. None of it makes any sense. The reason it doesn't make any sense is they're just making surface area that they can poke more holes in and bleed money out of it. You see, the same people own all these companies. The defense industry, the weapons, the transport, the, the mercenaries, the miners, the mining equipment, the fuel, the transport for the fuel, the processing plants, the battery makers, and they all get government subsidies on top of everything else. They're making so much freaking money, and it's your money. And you end up with a car that doesn't even freaking work, and you can't go where you want to unless you at least pretend to believe what they tell you to. That's where it's going. Fast. They want to accelerate. <clears throat> this new system has so much service area and so many holes, and none of it trickles down to you, even in the form of function. Anyway, that's just a little... I think fairly tight description of where we are there's a big gap under the door here and bugs come in I had I had to murder one it was bad for the planet anyway that's enough for this one I'll be doing a lot of these short rants and I hope you enjoy them <laughs> share it spread it around everywhere uh, YouTube steps all my comments. I don't even get to see just a few comments on every one, and then they disappear. 
so I don't even get any feedback on that but you people know who I am how to find me and I got my emails and I'm gonna be having uh, a little more focus on some of this stuff we'll talk about uh, other subjects later Uncle Billy signing out